Yo, what up y'all boys? It's your boy Get Lamar back with another YouTube video. And in this YouTube video, I'm gonna be going over the Marshalls offensive playbook. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this jump was gonna be booty cheeks. But I this is a playbook that I would use because of the formations in it. Like we have the split slot offset. You know, I like to span that RPO read swing, and they also got the double pass in it. Where's it at? Right there. And then they have the Wildcat, which I like. But it's only three plays instead of having like the power and the counter in it. And you also got that single back where you can run your stretch. Then it's not in this, it's a pistol, my fault. Pistol wide off trips. You can run stretch in this. This is where is it at? It's down here, right here. So I'm not gonna lie, this playbook it's kind of comfy, y'all boys. So starting off, we got split slot offset. And y'all boys already know the plays in there because all the other playbooks also has it. But make sure y'all boys go ahead and favorite the plays. I like to run RPO read swing, double pass. And when my opponent likes to play aggressive after I keep doing doing the RPO on them, that's when I do the stutter and go. Or any other pass with the motion. And then the motion triple option. That's also a good play right there. Next, we got ace offset. Of course, you got a jet pass. You got your RPOs, the PA read, if y'all boys want to run that right there. Then the read option with the dagger, doubles Y off. You got your fake jet toss. That play really not good, though. I never get it to work. Let's see if we get it to work real quick. If it work, y'all boys, make sure y'all favorite. If it don't, see, I don't like the blocking, and it's just not. I don't like running that play right there. The blocking just not right. But we got the, the jet pass, fake toss. And then we got the slant. This play is good because look at the slant on this. He goes upfield instead of running like a. So it's kind of like a post, but it's like a little mini post instead of like a slant slant. But that's why I like that play right there. Got the shallow cross, PA read. Like I said, I like to run it on third downs. You got PA bubble Y over with this play. This is what I like to do. That slot receiver, I like to put him on deep cross. I'll run it like this. And either my tight end or that crosser is going to get open. You've seen both of them get open. That was a tutty, but where just open through the ball. What else we had in here? You got the screen, the options, and a double post. Next is stack Y off. You can spam the jet pass once they try to stop it. And then you run the HB seam. If you're in the red zone, you can also run the power with your quarterback. Then you also got this jet pass right here. Then you got the PA jet sweep. So combo those plays. You got bench HB angle, the flood drive level. So it's great passing plays in here. And then you got your RPOs with the red, the red zone scissors. Let me go ahead and show y'all what red zone scissors. When y'all, if the game is on the line or you need this, like third and twenty, I'm running this play because the running back always gets open, always. Now see right there, always open. Next, we got Y off trips. You got the RPO glance bubble, flood swing, the double post. All these RPOs are great RPO plays. Make sure y'all boys get the RPO read flat. This play right here wins me games alone. Like, it's crazy. Of course, they don't got the best tight end, but I play ultimate team. And my tight end goes crazy on that play right there. Then you also got the PA zone shot. You got the read option, then the verticals Y option. Next is Y off trips. You got the RPO glance bubble, read options. If y'all boys like to do that, high low dig. That's a great play right there. I'll just take the dude off the corner, put him on something else. Then all these three plays right here, just combo them boys up. What's that last play? Okay, let's draw. Then you got the Wang trips. If y'all boys could get this option off, this butt sweet option, it's a great play. Most of the time, if you hand it off, they ain't blocking right, but you see, we still score, but. You got a, a Bon Voyage of blockers out that thing, but look, this whole bunch of blockers. Probably should have uh, kept that with the quarterback. That's a good run play right there. And you also got the reverse. Of course, with faster receivers, you will be out of there to the crib every time. That's a great play right there if your opponent likes to stack the box. Hit them with that or if they like to blitz a lot, catch them off guard with that reverse play right there. 
you got all go then you got the PA uh, inverted veer then these goal line plays if y'all boys need some plays to run down in the goal line and next is trip tight end offset y'all could just run this formation the whole game if y'all wanted to with the RPO alert bubble the PA crossers let me show you what I like to do with the crossers I like to put that tight end on the crossing route sometimes I even put my running back on the flat depending on how many yards I need and you see the crossers are wide open my reads on that is usually that that receiver right there and then the tight end those are usually people that get open if you want to run a corner route because your uh, opponent is running man you got the shock H uh, option and also level sales with X under and also tight end in that's a great play if he's also running man because that running back will be on the wheel route you got verts you got the fake screen wheel and the speed option. So all those plays right there, make sure your boys favorite them. Like I said, you could just run and play the whole game and win. Then double stacks. If y'all boys want to be toxic, you run this play right here. The RPO read if it's a screen. Oh no, it's not the right one. It's the one uh where the quarterback could read. Let me go ahead and run, run it back. Oh no. It's the play where the quarterback could keep the ball also. I don't think it's that one. Dang, is it? Let's see if we can find it. Dang, I don't know if these boys got it in their playbook. But either way, even if the quarterback can't keep the ball, you can either just hand it to your running back or throw it out there. If one of these are the ones where the quarterback can keep the ball, just know that's a good play. You got stack out, you got smash, you got all go, and just all the screens. RPO read bubble. You got two bubbles on this. So this jump right here is OP. Just try to look at both. You see, I could have threw the one to the left. But you literally have two options. You just got to be looking at both of them at the same time. And that's, that would be an easy six plus yards every time on that play right there. Of course, if your opponent is a man, just go ahead and hand that ball off. You got smash cross, read option, slants middle, the zone speed option. The smirk, uh, the smash verticals, and then the all goes next spread Y flex. If y'all boys want to run the RPO peak slant, if it's like third and short or something like that, whatever we got, Y shallow cross, we got mesh drive, the 617 shallow cross again, the jet pass, power read, all goes read option <coughs> next. We got RPO read bubble with the flood and also combo that up with the receiver screen. And then once they try to crash down, hit them with the fake screen wheel, it's going to be a tutty. Then you got wide trail. Also these screens right here, the RPO alert out. Trips. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and give y'all boys a sauce on this play right here. If your opponent is a man, obviously, they might be a man right here, but if they're a man, usually that out route is wide open. And you could just rack up easy yards like that. So that is a good play to do right there. If the screen's not open, usually the uh, out routes are open. Next, we got RPL read bubble. They also have the trick play double pass in here. You got stick wheel, sail, slot corner, middle slants. Then, like I said, you can combo up the RPO read screen with the fake screen wheel. And then the all goes and the QB slot option. I like to run that down in the red zone. Also, play action receiver in. That's a great play. If y'all boys like to run tunnel screens with your receiver, you can also run that. Trips HB weak. RPO alert bubble. Drive. You can run deep sales. Shock H option. Inside switch. And then the all goes, and you got your screens if y'all want to. I knew they had the HB direct. I know I wasn't tripping. This right here, this play should be money. But he's taking, okay, it's kind of weird. Then the playbook I run. See, he's taking it kind of like up the middle. But this play is usually money. And you can pick up easy yards on that play. The direct snap to the uh, running back. Then you got your five wide. Any of these plays is money plays. Let me go ahead and charge my controller before it go dead, y'all boys. You got the 
tight flood, scissors, stick and nod. All good plays right there for that five out. Go ahead, go down to pistol. You got your stretch alert looky. You know, that play right here was annoying and madden. I really don't see too many people run this, but I'm sure it's still annoying. Go ahead, choose a new play. The uh, vertical tight end cross is a great play. You also got the read option. A strong flood, HB dive. Scissors, the RPO glance, slip screen. And you also got the stretch and also, like I said, the fake screen with the regular screen. Single back, they got the stretch alert looky. The PA sprint out HB flat. The tight end attack. If y'all boys like those plays. And like I said, you got the Wildcat. Y'all know this is my bread and butter. You got the jet sweep with the reverse pass. Just to show y'all that the reverse pass worked. First try. First try. Ugh. I don't count. But that's it for the Marshall playbook. If this video helped, go ahead and drop a like and a comment. Y'all boys gonna be comfy this year. Ain't no more losing, so make sure y'all boys tie down.